How good does that feel, ladies and gentlemen? All right, guys, how is it going? My name is Oliver Ward, and welcome back to another match reaction. Obviously, as you say, I'm a bit happier today because Leeds United have just pulled out the best performance of 2022, I tell you. Well, our, our best performance anyway. Anyway, Leeds United win 3-1, okay? And it was the best performance of our season. Okay, hands down today. Massive three points, and we're now eight points clear of the drop, which is absolutely massive. Obviously, Burnley have a few games in hand on us, but it doesn't matter, okay? We had to beat Burnley today, and we did, and we done it in style. I thought I saw a lot of old leads today. Tiki Taka, okay? All this little passing around, the getting stuck in, Forshaw, Furpo, Ailing, Koch was brilliant, Melier's brilliant, Lorente, James when he came on, Joffy when he came on, okay, he's different level. Rafinha had a decent game. Harrison got his goal. Dallas. Dallas is, Dallas is, Dallas, he, he could have me kids if he really wanted to. But I thought today, Leeds United were absolutely fantastic. Really were. It, it started off strong. We did start off strong. You know, we had a few chances here and there. Roberts had a few uh, missed chances here and there. I, I don't know. I don't ever really see Burnley coming out and looking dangerous, obviously. But you know what? They, they defended quite well. But I thought from the get-go, Leeds were brilliant. And then, obviously, 39th minute, we get our breakthrough goal. Jack Harrison does a little step over, turns, I think it was Tarkovsky, yeah, who made the mistake. James, uh, not James, sorry, Harrison took the ball off him and uh, done a little skill, had a shot, good save from Hennessy, and then he scores the rebound, and it was a, a lovely goal. We go in 1-0 at half time. Everyone was confident. Second half starts. First five minutes, first five, ten minutes was Burnley's best spell. Definitely of the game. And in the 55th, I believe, or 54th, that's where Maxwell Corne, obviously he was on it, came on at half time, And uh, the free kick from about 30-something yards out was a fantastic free kick. And I even said in my live stream, that's fine. That's nowhere near the goal. He's not going to score from there. Lovely free kick. Nothing uh, Melia could do. Maybe he could have positioned himself better. I haven't really looked at it uh, in full detail. But after that, Leeds kept pressing. I think they knew that a point wasn't enough today and that really showed uh, today. Um... And then we get a goal in about the 70th minute, I believe. It comes from Stuart Dallas. We play corners. We're having shots after shots, winning corners. Even when you're thinking, oh, that ball's gone out. No, we'll keep going and try and win something. We win corners. We play it short. Click to Rafinha. Rafinha puts it back to click. Click on the edge of the box. And Dallas hits with the left foot outside of his boot into that top corner. Into the top left corner. It was a lovely goal from Stuart Dallas. And I went a bit mental. I think we all did. 2-1. We were happy with it. We really were. We thought, I was thinking in my head, let's try and go for another goal instead of, because we're more likely to concede a goal by trying to keep onto the ball. You know what I mean? That's such a Leeds thing. Uh, but in the end, we went for a third and we got a third. It was a lovely ball from Click. Through to Joffy. Joffy, oh, it's just a delicious ball. And Dan James wins the header. From a bloke who's about three foot six, he wins a lot of headers. And Dan James gets his second goal in the 93rd minute or wherever it was and Leeds won the game 3-1. And I'm not even going to do player ratings because I thought everyone today was a nine. Literally everyone. I, I thought, and the thing is, do you know what's mad is a lot of people saying Rafinha didn't have his best game, but only because I think everyone else was brilliant. Furpo at left back today looked like a left back. Lorente, it was funny because for the first half an hour, I didn't really know he was on the pitch, but it's because... He was just doing the things quietly and just doing the job. Koch, I had my doubts, and he was fantastic. Ailing, that was old Ailing today. Melier done what he had to do. You know, I mean, his goal's not really his fault, and his distribution with his feet was brilliant. Forshaw in the middle of the park. I tell you what, Forshaw, right? When we don't have Calvin in, it's a bit scary. But at that time, we didn't have Calvin, and we didn't have Forshaw either because he was injured. I didn't think Forshaw was going to be the man, the Calvin replacement that he has been. And he's been absolutely fantastic. And he was again today, getting strong in the tackle, winning the ball back. His passing's brilliant. Forshaw was brilliant today. Click was fantastic today. First half, he was a bit meh. I thought second half, he was fantastic, Click. I, I, I even, no, to be fair, first half, he was good as well. I thought Click had a fantastic game. Quick passing, nice balls over the top, getting stuck in as well. He, he had a very good game. Harrison had a decent game, got the goal. That'll boost his confidence a lot. Rafinha, one of the, Worst soft games he's played. He wasn't awful, but he, he yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't brilliant from Rafinha, but I think everyone around him just was brilliant today. Tyler Roberts had a good game. I don't care what anyone says. Tyler Roberts had a fantastic game in my eyes. Um, winning the ball back. Okay, maybe he should have got a few more shots on target. The header, maybe. I like what he tried to do. Put it back the other way on the goalkeeper. But no, it was unlucky from Tyler Roberts. Dallas, my man of the match today. Dallas was fantastic. Got the goal. Got the energy. You know, it could have been Forshaw, Dallas, Click, Aylin. Could have been any of them. Furpo, even. Um, and then James come on, obviously, got a goal. 
He deserved it. He, he was winning headers. He was running down. He put them a, l a lot of times. He was doing Matthew Lowton on that right-hand side and putting a left-footed ball across the box. And unfortunately, he couldn't get there. And also, we're going to talk about Joffy. Joe Geltart, the 19-year-old, is fantastic. And he needs to start next game. He needs to start against West Ham. He has to. He's a fantastic talent. Every time he plays, he either gets a goal or an assist. And that's what he's doing recently. And he's a fantastic player. We don't play him. He won't want to... We, we don't want to waste this talent while we've got him. We really don't. He was a fantastic player today. And I, I'm just happy that Leeds won. I really am happy. I, there were so many positives I took off today. Just the style of football, the, the way we got into the tackle. That, that was more like Leeds today. And maybe 2022, we turn it around. Maybe. Maybe it was just a bit of stroke of luck that we did miss the Liverpool and Villa game. I mean, that's a team. I didn't look. I know, obviously, we missed a few. And if we played Liverpool, yeah, we probably would have got tonked. Even Villa, we maybe would have lost. But well, that didn't look like a team today that just lost 4-1 against Arsenal, like their last game. That looked like a team refreshed and ready to go for the new season, knew that they had to get three points today. And that's exactly what we showed. Burnley, I don't think we're threatening us, we're threatening, sorry, that much, if I'm completely honest. Maxwell Corne, when he came on, was their big player, their big game player. Uh, but obviously he scored the free kick and he looked a bit dangerous. But I don't think Aaron Lennon or Wood really done anything today. I think Koch and Lorente dealt with them very well. And Ailing and Furpo thought the defence was fantastic. Thought the midfield was fantastic. Thought the wingers were fantastic. And I thought the strikers, when they came on, Joffy, Roberts, were winning the ball back. And a well-earned three points for Leeds. And that is the best performance of our season. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm confident going into West Ham, you know. I'm confident going into it. Obviously, West Ham are a good side. But you saw yesterday uh, that they've got weak links. They do. And hopefully, Leeds can push on from this and... Uh, you know, maybe maybe get three points. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting a bit excited now. Maybe I know it's only Burnley, but these are the games you have to win. And uh, a stat I got told, we've only lost to the top seven clubs and Southampton. And that Southampton game was a bit of an anomaly because we were awful. We were, it was like the worst we played on Bielsa. And the other teams we lost against West Ham, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City and United. The games we had to, you know, around that, the Wolves, Leicester, we've got points. We're beating Palace, we're beating Burnley, we're beating Watford, we're beating Norwich. Do you know what I mean? So if you put it like that, we could be okay. I want to know what you guys think in the comment. Who is your man of the match? I'm going to say my man of the match was Dallas. I've got to say Dallas. Forshaw was close. Aylan was close. Furpo was close. Everyone was close. But I thought Furpo had his best game in a lead shirt. Joffrey was fantastic. I can't even praise him enough. I thought Leeds United were fantastic today. And I really enjoyed the game. I hope you guys did too. And let's push on to the next game. Let's hope 2022 is our year. If you are new around here, guys, be sure to subscribe. Let's try and push to 4,100 subscribers. That could be sick. Also, smash a like. Let's try and smash 100 likes if you want to see more match reactions. But Leeds United get three points at Ellen Road. It feels fantastic. And let's go into the next game with confidence. Everyone was brilliant today. I, I don't have a bad word about anyone. Everyone was 9 out of 10 for me. Maybe even 10 out of 10. You know, let's give everyone 10 out of 10. Uh, no, 9 out of 10 because we did concede. But anyway, uh, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been fantastic. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Leeds get the three points. And we're eight points clear of the drop. Come on, we're staying up. Uh, without further ado, I've been Ollie Ward. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheerio. <laughs>